Little Bear, what are you waiting for? You're thinking to yourself, Little Bear, you're going crazy. You better be careful because a train may come at any minute and wipe you out. I'm not afraid. I'm not the least concerned or afraid. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. This is an abandoned railroad track. There hasn't been trains here for years. In fact, on that bridge, it says something like, I don't know, 1917, you know, World War I vintage, that bridge is. This track used to be used, but it's abandoned. You don't have to be concerned about an abandoned track. Once it's abandoned, nothing can happen. So you say, well, what goes on around here? Absolutely nothing. On an abandoned track, nothing happens. About the only thing that happens is weeds grow right up between the tracks because of disuse. Nobody likes something abandoned. I wish a train would come by here. I love trains. I want to be able to see the trains come by here, but they left long ago. The train went to some kind of a depot or were sold for metal, I don't know, or a museum somewhere. The trains are gone, the track is abandoned. Who likes abandoned? Nobody. And certainly, God does not like abandoned. Did you know the entire chapter of Jeremiah, chapter 2, deals with Israel abandoning God? Please read it. It is so amazing. In fact, if you want to know that you are in a position where maybe you have abandoned God, I would recommend reading Jeremiah chapter 2 because it's got a list of qualities and things that Israel did that prove they abandoned God. So it's kind of a good rule of thumb to read that to see where you are with God. I have been walking my Christian life by the grace of God now for about 50 years. And in my walk for Christ, I have seen so many abandon the walk of Christ. Not only teenagers, I've seen adults. And there's nothing more grievous than to abandon Christ. You become like the railroad that's no longer used. You're just occupying space, occupying time, and you become fruitless for the work of the Lord. Jesus wants us to be fruitful for Him. He wants us to work the works that God has ordained us to work. But when we forsake Him, another term for that is backslide, when we turn our backs on Him and abandon Him, we really become useless. We might be thinking that we're doing something. So in Jeremiah 2, it says Israel went a-whoring after so many things, and those things led their heart away from God. God wants us to draw our heart towards Him so we're not abandoning the work that God has given us to do. And that greatest work, it says in Jeremiah, is to love Him. It says, you have forsaken your love for me. That's the number one issue. So where are you with the things of God? You may have been raised in a Christian home. You may have come to Christ on your own, but somewhere along your path of life, somewhere along the track, you went off the track and have gone AWOL. You are no longer on the track moving towards God. In fact, you're not moving at all. You think you might be moving, but it's wasted. And the pity is the day will come that we will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ, the scripture says, and you will have very little to have shown for you and for what you think that you have done for the Lord because you abandoned him. Draw to him, draw near, call upon him, ask the Lord to help you. Pray, dear Lord Jesus, I am so sorry I abandoned you. 
this challenge that Little Bear is giving me is, is stirring my spirit and causing me to be convicted that I have not been walking with you. I've been off the track. Help me to go back on the track. And you can do that just like that. You don't have to feel guilt and shame that God never wants you again. He wants you to get back on the track. Peter went off the track when he denied the Lord. But when the Lord came to Peter, loved on him, Peter went back on the track to the point that Peter gave his life for Jesus. Will you not give your life for Jesus? Come to the Lord. Return from having abandoned Him is my cry and my prayer for you. I leave you with this word to pause and to ponder. Thank mm -hmm. you.